Often we pray, ask, plead, and we can't hear God's voice. All we want is to hear God speak to us. My child, calm your heart. I am taking care of this situation. But when God is silent, we become truly frightened and we question ourselves. Why isn't God hearing my prayers? Why isn't he answering me? Is there something wrong with me? In fact, there is a major hindrance to hearing God's voice, and it's when we don't let him be who he should be in our lives. We don't let God be God, that is, when we want to take the place of the Lord, when we ask for something and don't let him act. We start doing things with our own hands, and how many times we ask him, Lord, take care of this situation, I put it in your hands, because I can't and don't have the means to solve it. Right after, we start planning how we are going to solve that situation. And it's like God is thinking, Wow, he asked me for this, but is already doing this, that other thing. And that's where the problem lies. You take the reins of the situation, and because of that, you have to deal with the consequences. Let's consider the case of Moses. When Moses was raised by the daughter of Pharaoh and grew up as a prince of Egypt, the initial plan was not to make him suffer in the desert for 40 years. The Lord's plan was to make him like he did with Joseph, to make that man governor of Egypt. He would become a Pharaoh who would not worship the sun God, but would be the Pharaoh who would worship the true God, the living God. He would free the people from slavery and make all the people of that nation know who the Lord is. But the Bible tells us that Moses killed an Egyptian man, thus frustrating God's plans. However, since God's plans can never be defeated or frustrated, there was all that history that we know. Moses became a fugitive, heard the voice of God in that desert for the first time. In the burning bush, he returned to Egypt, challenged the Pharaoh, freed the people, parted the Red Sea, and everything else we know. Similarly, my brother God has plans for your life, but you need to let God be God. See what is written in Psalm 100. Know that the Lord is God, it is He who made us and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Look at this beautiful word. So reflect, who is your God? Is it you? Why are you trying to do everything with your own hands? Do you want to create all the situations and make all the decisions? We were created in the image and likeness of God and that is a great privilege. However, many of us have forgotten that He is the Creator and that we are only the creature, the creation of the Lord. He is the potter, and we are the clay vessel. The Lord is unlimited, He is perfect, and we are full of limitations. God is omnipotent, and we are weak, and without Him, we can do nothing. As we read the Word of God, we see that there are many biblical stories where people lived the supernatural of God. They went through miraculous deliverances, unimaginable things, and all of this is a manifestation of the grace and power of the Lord. He shows us that, Regardless of the circumstances we are facing today, regardless of our fears, failures, and mistakes, He continues to be God and the Lord of every situation. Regardless of external forces, of our enemies who cause us so much fear, He will always reveal Himself as the powerful God, and that nothing is impossible for Him. If God revealed Himself in situations of extreme difficulty, as happened several times with the people of Israel, I imagine that he can do it in the small things of your daily life that take away your peace. That area of your life that saddens you today, that brings you down, no, my brother, if it affects your life, then it is important to the Lord. He wants to act in all areas of your life. He wants to show you that he is God. So do not expect ordinary things from a God who acts supernaturally. But for that to happen, you need to trust that God is God, that he has never failed, and that he will never fail. Amen. If your hopes are gone, know that hope in God never dies. If your joy is gone, know that God is the never-ending source of your joy. If you have ever been abandoned, know that God will always be by your side and He will never abandon you. If you have been disappointed, know that God will only surprise you with His faithfulness. And perhaps you, who have already been betrayed, know that God is faithful to all His promises. He knows all things and wants to give us victory but we need to recognize that He is Lord and that we have to let Him act in our lives. Keep this in your heart. He is God when our heart is troubled. He is God when our heart is overflowing with joy. He is God when we suffer persecution. He is God when we are blessed. He is God when we go through tribulations. He is God when we don't know which way to go. He is God when we are overcome by fear, affliction, and anguish. 
He is God when we love our neighbor, but he is also God when we can't love our neighbor. He is God when everything happens contrary to our plans, but he is also God when the doors close. He is God when we live in holiness, but he is also a merciful God when we fall into temptation. Or, my brother, he tells you on this day, I am the God who takes care of you. I am merciful, gracious, and I want to change your story. Often, my dear ones, we are overwhelmed by feelings of anguish. We feel down. Such feelings are part of human life, and no one is free from feeling them. The more so in this troubled and unpredictable world we live in, and often we are overcome by fear, insecurity, and we fail to trust in God. We fail to recognize that God is God over everything and every situation. We fail when we start acting on our own, by not obeying the Lord, by not praying to the Lord before making a decision, and trusting that everything will turn out right in the end. How many times do we act like this and then get frustrated, feel powerless, and cry out for God's help? But I want to tell you, just as Jesus told the parable of the lost sheep, God goes where we are at the bottom of the pit, trapped in sin, trapped in so many negative feelings. And He brings us back, He puts us on His shoulders, and He takes us to a safe place. This is our God, a God who takes care of us. So believe that in moments of greatest weakness, where your strength has already run out, that is where the Lord acts and works most in your life. He hasn't forgotten you. He hasn't abandoned you. He's just waiting for your permission to be God and to begin working in your life. So my brother, open your heart, cry out to the Lord, and tell Him exactly what's going on with you. Perhaps your sin, in your eyes, is so serious that you're ashamed to pray, ashamed to expose yourself to the Lord. But my brother, don't be afraid to hand it over to God because God is greater. God is love. The Bible says that He does not deal with us according to our sins, but He is merciful and kind. So my brother, I want to end this message by reading with you what is written in Psalm 46. Look at what it says. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations He has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So trust, my dear, because God knows what needs to be done in your life. Just seek Him with all your heart and don't try to live your life on your own. And now I want to pray for you, and you're going to make a prayer of surrender. You're going to hand over to the Lord everything that's troubling you right now. Whether it's a sin, a problem you need to solve, an internal conflict, no matter what it is, you're going to lay it before the Lord. You're going to let Him be God in your life. Amen. So let's pray. Close your eyes. My Lord and my Father, I now present my life and the lives of all those who are listening to me. O oh, Father, hear the cry of your children, O oh, God. Many are now oppressed by the devil. Many are now bound by sin. Lord, have mercy on us. We now surrender into your hands, Father, our failures, the lies we have told. How many times, my Father, do we do the will of the enemy? How many times do we act according to our flesh and not live in holiness? O oh, Father, forgive our sins. Take this weight off our shoulders, my God, because we cannot bear this burden. But we believe now that Jesus already carried everything that afflicts us today on the cross. He has already overcome the world, overcome sin, overcome death. Therefore, we believe, my Father, that Jesus has already taken care of this problem, and we will simply trust that you have forgiven us by faith. We will trust that you are taking care of our lives, and now you will work in our favor. O oh, Father, I want to thank you for the lives of everyone who is here. My Father, how many are now at the bottom of the emotional well, at the bottom of the financial well? My Father, act with mercy, Lord, because often we act on impulse and break our faces, make wrong decisions, and often it is difficult to bear the consequences. But Lord, you are a God who changes history, just as you changed the story of Moses. It seemed like an unfinished story, full of doubts. Everything happened, but you were merciful, and you still used that man to free your people. Therefore, I ask you, my Father, to use your children to save, heal, and free us who were slaves for so long. We can now be instruments of your grace. So use us, Lord. We are now letting you take control of our lives in the name of Jesus, my Father. 
and we will not go back. We will no longer want to act our way, but we will trust that you are faithful and that you know what you are doing in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray and thank you for everything that you are and for everything that you will do. Amen. Glory to God. If you liked this message, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. God bless you.